Happy Friday, everyone out there. Happy Friday. Today is September 27th, 2024, and I'm happy to be your host for today's episode. My name is Mr. Johnny. And like I said before, happy Friday. Anyone out there ready for a fantastic weekend? I thought so. And first, we've got a great biblically centered birthday today. Today is Abigail's birthday. And we know Abigail, and for anyone who knows her, you know that she brightens any room she enters and brings so much joy to her family and friends. She has a special place in our heart, and we are so thankful for her and her family. So happy birthday today, Abigail, and we hope that it is a great day for you. Hey, we also have a pretty simple but pretty fun national holiday today. Today is actually National Chocolate Milk Day. I said that weird, didn't I? It's National Chocolate Milk Day. Come on. That's celebrated on September 27th, and I'll tell you what, my childhood senses are tingling. While this beverage can be spotted in any lunchroom in the United States, it actually originated in Jamaica. That's right, Jamaica gave us chocolate milk. This chocolatey goodness can be traced back to the 1400s, and its popularity continues to increase. In fact, the global chocolate milk market is forecasted to grow at a rate of 3.6% between the years of 2019 and this year, 2024. So, if chocolate milk is something you enjoy from time to time, maybe today is a good day to have a glass and sip on its simple goodness. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our quiz for the week. Are you ready for Quiz Day Friday? Oh, yeah! I'm going to be asking you guys a series of multiple choice questions. Some easy, maybe some a little difficult, but nothing too hard. But they all require us to listen well. Are you ready to listen? Are you ready to answer? You got your thinking caps on? All right, let's jump into today's quiz. As you know, we are talking all about Virtue M this week. What does the M in our virtue stand for? Is it A, memorize, B, multiply, or C, maintain? Hmm, which one is it? Memorize, multiply, or maintain? That's right, the correct answer is C, maintain. Virtue M says, we maintain peace letting the spirit lead our hearts and minds. Good job on that one, guys. Question number two, we discussed Philippians 4, 7 this week. And that verse tells us, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your blank and your blank in Christ Jesus. What two words fill in those blanks? Is it A, hearts and minds, B, wills and emotions, or C, thoughts and actions? Do you remember? Is it A, hearts and minds, B, wills and emotions, or C, thoughts and actions? Well, that's right, the correct answer is A. Philippians 4, 7 tells us, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This verse is a powerful reminder that the peace God gives us is so amazing. It's beyond what we can even fully understand. And the best part, this peace will protect us like a shield when we let the Holy Spirit guide our thoughts and actions. Shields activated. In our Old Testament story this week, we discussed Gideon and his army. The army he gathered was 32,000 people. But what did God tell him to get it down to? Was it A, 10,000 people, B, 3,000 people, or C, 300 people? Well, what was the answer for this one? That's right. The answer is C, 300. God told Gideon to let anyone who was afraid go home. So he had 32,000 people. And when he told them if they were afraid to go home, 22,000 men left. And so that left only 10,000 people. But then God told Gideon that was still too many. 
and he instructed Gideon to take the remaining men down to a river and watch how they drank water. Those who lapped the water by putting their hands to their mouths were chosen, and those who knelt down to drink, they were sent home. And only 300 men lifted the water up to their mouths. And so God said, with these 300 men, I will save Israel. And sure enough, he did. In our New Testament story this week, we talked about the golden rule, which can be found in Matthew 7, 12. What does it say? Is it A, do to others what they deserve? Or is it B, do to others what you would want them to do to you? Yeah, this was an easy one, I know. Of course, the answer is B, Jesus taught us the golden rule. Do to others what you would want them to do to you. This means if you want people to be kind and caring to you, you should what? Of course, be kind and caring to them first. It's a simple way to make sure we treat others with the same love and respect that we want for ourselves. Question five. Jesus encourages us to really listen and take to heart the things he teaches us. He tells us that listening to what he teaches is like what? A. Building a boat on calm waters. B. Building a table on smooth floors. Or C. Building a house on solid rock. Is it A. Building a boat on calm waters. B. Building a table on smooth floors. Or C, building a house on solid rock. Well, we know you got this one. We've discussed this one quite a bit. The answer is C, building a house on solid rock. Jesus compared his teachings to building a house on a strong rock. He said, everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. When the storms come, his house will stay strong because it's built on something solid. This means that when we listen to Jesus and follow his teachings, we build our lives on a strong foundation. Even when hard times come, our faith will keep us steady and safe. Well, good job out there, everyone. Did you do okay on today's quiz? I hope you enjoyed this one on this beautiful Friday, and I hope you have a great weekend. I thank you so much for listening to this week's episode so far. Be sure to listen each day to the Biblically Centered Kids podcast and tune in tomorrow for a fun Saturday game day episode with Miss Danica. And I'll be back on Sunday to lead you in a draw along. Until next time.